lots of diagrams, read you everything and explain everything like anatomy, especially that one loves lots of detail. Also use every day to swap back because it's nice to see this a holiday but it's not. And how much information do you put on flashcards? It does depend on the subject, obviously with subjects that do require more, so something like cell biology or physiology, there does tend to be more on the back of them, whereas things like anatomy, where you just need to identify something, then you can just have one or two dot points. Mm -hmm. And are there any special flashcard techniques that you'd recommend? I find, especially with anatomy, that if you have flashcards that you can print out, sort of label diagrams, pictures, anything like skeletal system, any sort of systems that are labelled already, and that way you can just sort of flip them over, memorise them, flip them back and then try and sort of draw an unlabeled diagram. My study tip is try to teach other people and explain processes to them so that you can strengthen your knowledge. And after all, Einstein said you never truly understand something until you can explain it to your grandmother. The best advice I can give is manage your time wisely. Don't leave your to the last minute. Try not to cram the last night because that'll ruin you. Um, also, just make a lot of flow diagrams, especially for the medical physiology one, I found that helped a lot. And just give it your all, like, don't worry too much, it gets to the exam, you'll pass. Uh, good luck. So for LQB388, the methods that I used for practicing for the exam was I went through all the pracs that we did, and then I went through the online lessons, did the questions afterwards, but I also really used the prac quizzes that you do every week. So generally as a rule, they go through the answers at the end, so I'm like, okay, so what were my answers missing? What do I need to include? And I just, that's how I studied for the final exam. Uh, look at every week in detail. Don't just look at the weeks you thought were hard and then forget the weeks you thought were easy. So something that helps me understand things is when I don't understand a topic, I'll think back to other things I've learned and relate it back to the previous biological concepts. Thinking of a bigger picture, this usually helps. Um, so I draw lots of diagrams. Um, I use the learning outcomes and formulate them or turn them into questions. And I have I put on a timer and have a list of questions and try and answer them within the time. So I'm stim simulating exam conditions. The most is probably just all the general lifestyle things. So getting enough sleep, exercising, just doing whatever helps you focus. So I find that I can only study for two hour periods at a time. So any more than that, I find that you're just not taking in any information. My main study tip is to have confidence in yourself. Because if you don't believe you can pass the test, then what's the point in trying? You should always try your best. You might not know everything, but yeah, it's better off putting throwing everything you can at it rather than giving up. Yeah, definitely revise the lecture content um, and and the questions in the prayer books um, because the questions were you know, pretty similar in the exam, obviously. Um, you're not going to be tested on something outside of your um, lectures and um, prayer content. Hi guys, so my advice is to really think about what the lecturer is asking you in your exam. So if it's a short answer or long answer question, they might give you quite a lot of room to answer in. Think about what's actually relevant to the question and not just whatever you can think of that could possibly be relevant. Because remember, they're marking a lot of these papers and then rather a concise and factual version of the answer than something that could contain any information that might be relevant. Also, when you get into the exam and if you have a bit of a mind blank, just remember that if you've been to the lectures and the practice and the tutes, that you've done all the content, you've covered it all. So just take a deep breath and have a think about what you need to answer. Good luck.